bug again. It is time to get romantic for Valentine's Day at the kitchen bar. We're gonna toast our loves with some sumptuous cocktails. The queen of cocktails is right here to mix up some love potions. She is our dear friend, Mandy Landefeld. Yay! I was so, so happy that I knew you were doing this because uh, she can- Because we're talking only liquor? Oh, which well, is my favorite too. thing to talk about? That too. <laughs> but no, it's like you put together the most delicious uh, combinations that sometimes we don't always think of. And the right. first one is going to be something that the men will love. Yeah, because you know, you're always thinking about Valentine's Day and opening a bottle of bubbly, but maybe we can like take it a little bit further Good. and really kind of spice up the romance with his and hers cocktails. I love it. Because you know, maybe you like vodka, but he loves bourbon. Right. Let's just go ahead and make sure everyone's all in the right mood I, for the night. I'm right? all okay. about it. Okay, so the first cocktail we're making is basically like an old fashioned okay. and with champagne. So right. um, we have, and here we've got a really nice little mixer thing. We're gonna do bourbon. Here's our ingredients. We've got bourbon Kay. and um, simple syrup, Perfect. which is equal parts sugar and water. Got it. And then lemon juice. And then I want you to take that Angostura bitters. And remember how we oh, yes. do like big, big, big wax, big, like big. a Tabasco. Yes, Good. Perfect. Okay. Like We're gonna bitters. stir this up. And I already have a big, um, I'm gonna have you top with champagne. I have a big ice cube in my glass. Oops. Um, and Mandy, so for all of these cocktails, we're just like topping them off with the topping champagne. Topping them off with champagne. I love that. So you're gonna pour a little champagne in both of our glasses. Got it. Ooh, is yep. that too much it, or no, good? No, that's perfect. And got you it, can got make it, it as champagne-y as you like. A champagne -y? Yes, a I like champagne, a lot of champagne as you like. Give it a little wiggle. Got it, and then? To mix it together. Yeah, put a little bit of a lemon peel in there. Yeah, and look at you being all. Well, excuse she me. She lend the glass uh, so that you, when you take your sip, you get that aroma at the edge of the glass. Which taught is me everything like, I know. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Cheers. Yum. This will be going in my and the real talk table. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. This is delicious. It's For, really yummy. Yeah. It's. I it's mean, I wonderful. think chicks could totally drink that too. Mm -hmm. If you're a bourbon girl, you're gonna love that. Okay. We've gotten into bourbon a little more. Yeah, and that's since still... meeting me. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> because it's my love language. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So next, we're gonna make what I call a pretty in pink, and it's kind of like you know, remember like Molly Ringwald, and all those sixteen candles, yes. and I just think it's delicate and lovely and gorgeous, and that's okay. what I think about it. Okay. So remember how I've taught you how to rim a glass? You're gonna you dip sure it did. in anything but water. Okay. You're gonna dip it in juice or whatever. Or, uh, any anything that you're already using, you could do it. And then what are the, uh, the ingredients? So our ingredients shown. for this one is vodka and uh, elderflower liqueur, and then grapefruit juice and um, and our little lovely what sugar. Is this this is so a cocktail beautiful. sugar. So this is it's called citrus and petals. You can get them on Amazon. Mm. You can get really beautiful cocktail sugars at Ooh. specialty stores or on Amazon or whatever. And so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did before and then we're okay. gonna top it with champagne. Got it. So here goes our vodka, your favorite vodka. But remember, it does not have to be, when you're making a mixed drink, it does not have to be top shelf, like really expensive. Vodka, right, right, right. Okay, really not because taste you're not going to taste it. Right. Different if you're doing Give something on the Give it a little wiggle. We're going to put a couple of um, strawberries. You could put Ooh. raspberries in the bottom because we're just kind of making it a little romantic. Now I'm going to ask a uh, poll the gentleman in the studio. In general, who here will like champagne? Jim is not a huge champagne drinker. Is it just a man thing? Who loves of our men champ? Oh, one gentleman. I mean, that is crazy, Ali. Oh, sorry, and Mark. But I think a little bit of bubbles, I mean, it goes a long way, but then I, we have another one that we're yeah. coming up. But you could easily just make him an old fashioned. No, but, I was just, but I think this is tasty. You might have a conversion. Uh, okay, yes. top it with our champagne. I just think it's funny that usually men are like, yeah, I'll save that for the ladies, which right. is fine by us. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, here we so, go. So, and you could do rose champagne with this one, whatever you're gonna do. Oh boy. Cheers, cheers, I cheers. I Aren't they so breakfast. pretty? Yay. Okay. okay. I want to make sure we have time right, for our last hold. one. Mm -hmm. oh it's goodness. light and fresh. It's kind of like a, a, a French 75, which is one of my favorite things. Me too. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So good. Okay. So our last one is called the Love Potion. Mm. And it 
is yummy. Okay. It's so good. So remember how a couple of months ago we did one, we did a bourbon cocktail with egg whites in it. Yes. And we talked about. We were all shocked. Right. So here are ingredients for the love potion. It's got gin. We have egg whites. We have Campari, which is a bitter Italian liqueur. Yes. And lemon juice and an orange simple syrup, which you make by putting equal parts sugar and water and then steeping it with orange peel and just Yum. let it come to room temperature, okay? Guys, we're gonna put this, um, all of these recipes on our Facebook page, they'll be on our website. Right. Um, yeah, just a way to kind of elevate your special right. night. Even so I'm if, putting, if it's a, you know, your your man, your right. Valentine, whatever. Yeah, yeah have yes. girls over and have it together. So here, and then the last thing is our orange bitters go in. We're gonna give it a quick orange shake. Bitters. I'm gonna hand you one to start drinking while oh, I shake up the last Thank one. Thank you. Wait, do I need to top it with champagne? No, so this, are, this oh. one is just, this is, that was our champagne Champagnes. cocktail. This is our love potion. Got Remember, it. you shake it so you can't shake it no more. You okay. gotta get really, 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 really cold. And you wanna break up all those egg whites? Right, right. Y'all, look you're at how beautiful and frothy, frothy the egg whites and right, gorgeous. Beautiful. That is silky. Absolutely it has that delicious. silkiness to it. Mandy, Mine's you need to open up your own one. bar. I, I have thought Mandy's of that. Place. I I... Mandy's place, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Can I? You've taught me so much. Okay, one more. Oh, that's tasty. Oh, that's really, really, really tasty. That that's is like, really good. That's like at a restaurant, you just made it yourself. Yes, let's, have, let's have this one on the Real Talk table, mm -hmm. too. Crash and Kara are joining us. All oh, right, yeah. for we're all of these him. recipes, we're going to have a lot of fun and so many more. Please make sure you visit her, follow her at sumptuousliving.net. It's sumptuousliving.net.